So a thrust room is made by removing a small cone from a larger cone, a similar larger cone that is. The height of the small cone is 20, the height of the large cone is 40. So that tells us straight away then that the, the dimensions of the larger cone are double the dimensions of the smaller cone. The diameter of the base of the large cone is 30. So that will um, tell us then that the diameter of the smaller cone would be half of 30, which will be 15. So we'll rub out that as 7. Uh, oh, I know what I was up to. I was putting in 7.5 for the radius, because we will need the radius to work out the volume in a moment. So the radius of the large cone will be 15. So radius of the large cone, double radius of the small cone. Now I've got to work out the volume of the thrust room. And the way we do that is we take the volume of the large cone, which I'm outlining now, the volume of the large cone, subtract the volume of the small cone. So it would be handy then if we knew the formula for the volume of a cone. Now the formula is volume equals one third pi r squared h. And we have all the dimensions that we need. Now we can do this in a couple of um, different ways. I'll do it the sort of simplest way to understand rather than the quickest way. So the large um, volume then, the large volume will be one third of pi times 15 squared times the height of 40. We'll work that out in a moment. The small cone will be one third pi times 7.5 squared times 20. Now if I find the difference between the two, that will give me the volume of the frustrum. So I'll now tap that through on the calculator and show you what you should put on the calculator screen to get the answer in one go. So the way I've done this on the calculator is I have ignored the one third. I've worked out the pi times 15 squared times 40 and taken away pi times 7.5 squared times 20. And when I've got the answer to that, I've divided by 3 to get the one third. So we're asked to do this to three significant figures. So an important mark there. So we've got 8,246, or it would be 8,247, but we only want three figures. So it's going to be 8, 2, and then the third figure will depend on the fourth. So you can see the fourth figure is 6, so that rounds my 4 up to a 5. 8, 2, 5, and obviously we have a 0 for the place value. So the answer then to three significant figures is 8,250 centimetres cubed.